Welcome to Beauty Unlocks October Specials, where I'll be bringing you all things macabre, gruesome, and gory. <laughs> Are you ready? Up next, woman claims implant scars smelled like rotten meat after botched procedure abroad. Stay tuned for more. A 28-year-old woman who claims she forked over $3,500 for a breast implant procedure, an all-inclusive stay abroad, said she had been left with a lopsided chest and feels like a total freak after her care was allegedly mismanaged. Holly McCulloch claims that at one point, a 7-centimeter hole along her surgical wounds started smelling like rotten meat, and then she noticed her implant had started poking through the skin. Had a doctor told me that what I wanted was crazy, I'd have been fine and just gone for the largest possible for my body, McCulloch of Manchester told SWNS of her initial implant size. It was the doctor's and nurse's job to make sure I was fit and well after the second surgery, and they should have never let me go home in such a state. McCulloch, who traveled from her home to Turkey in August 2018 for the first surgery, told SWNS that she booked her trip after seeing an ad on Instagram. She said the ad featured celebrities and high-profile clients, which boosted her confidence in booking. When she arrived, she told the news outlet that she began getting suspicious after the clinic's practices, but that her nerves prevented her from questioning anything. She claimed she was sedated in an elevator and that she communicated with a number of nurses through a translation app. McCulloch told SWNS that when she woke up from the first procedure covered in her own vomit, she was allegedly in so much pain due to the size of her implants that she was taken back in to have them removed. McCulloch said when she woke up a second time, her implants were gone and she was left with loose, saggy skin, all stretched out from the huge implants. She claimed she went home several days later on the promise of free implants when she returned to the clinic. In January 2019, she returned to the villa and chose smaller implants but days later she felt like she was dying. She said she was allowed to fly home and was taken to hospital directly from the Manchester airport where doctors discovered a large blister along one of her incisions. She claimed she was given antibiotics for an infection and sent home, but that her surgical wounds began leaking green and yellow pus and her skin was turning black. She said she spent several days in a local hospital being treated for an infection, but the black hole kept getting larger despite doctors' assurances that her skin would heal. She said by mid-February, it had started smelling like rotten meat, and then she heard a ripping sound and saw her implant poking out. She returned to the same local hospital where she learned the implant would need to be removed. I asked what the alternative was, and he told me if it wasn't removed, the infection would end up killing me. She is now scheduled to have implant surgery in three months. I hope you enjoyed our first macabre little tale of a breast augmentation gone wrong. Tune in next week for another gruesome macabre tale. I'm Carissa Vickis, the host of Beauty Unlocked the Podcast, and this was our first October special episode. Bye! <laughs>